Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Nintendo Switch has been hacked. If you've watched my past videos, you might know that I'm a gamer and I sometimes like to uh, combine my passions, combining gaming news with network security news to just share fun and interesting stories, which may not always be practical. Well, today's story is a hacker has already found a significant vulnerability in a Nintendo Switch. If you're not a gamer, the Nintendo Switch is a new hybrid console, uh, works on TVs and it's portable, which Nintendo released and is sure to be very, very popular. In any case, it turns out the Switch uses a common browser framework called WebKit to provide any sort of web access. This particular researcher, Luca Tedesco, basically found that an old iOS 9.3 exploit that leveraged this WebKit vulnerability also worked against the Nintendo Switch. It actually crashed the browser and with some code adjustments could also be leveraged to execute code on the Switch. The good news for Switch owners is it's pretty difficult to exploit this flaw. If you're actually an owner, you probably know the Switch itself doesn't have a user accessible web browser. That means that in order for this particular researcher to exploit it, he had to take advantage of the captive portal functionality that could work on the Switch when you connect to a new Wi-Fi network. And he actually leveraged that in order to deliver this particular WebKit exploit. Nonetheless, the video is very interesting. It shows a great proof of concept, although he hasn't totally jailbroken or taken over the switch yet. Now, besides just being interesting news to a security nerd and gamer like me, there is some practical uh, takeaways you can pull from this story. Basically, it really does illustrate the issue with Internet of Things. You know, whether it's a gaming console, whether it's a webcam, whether it's a DVR, these devices are computers. And when you think about jailbreaking, whether it's to phones or to consoles, whether it's to uh, run homebrew code or whether it's to pirate, which is obviously bad, you need to realize that the vulnerabilities they use to do this are exactly the same as the vulnerabilities that criminals use to gain access to your system. In fact, the researcher mentioned he could theoretically uh, exploit this flaw to load malware onto a switch and theoretically gain access to the microphone, which is kind of a hot topic with all the WikiLeaks uh, details about Samsung TVs. In any case, you need to realize that although jailbreaks might be fun for some uh, level of power user, these vulnerabilities that they're finding are the same vulnerabilities that bad guys can use. And if you hear about vulnerabilities like these in consoles, they could theoretically also be used to load malicious content onto your console as well. So it is an interesting gaming related story. It's surprising for a hacker to already find a vulnerability in a new console. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.